Ben. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. What's going on, folks? Welcome to the 4 p.m. news update. All right, so we're just getting a, we're getting a minor close down on everything here. DIA down, NDX down a little bit, Q's down 1.9, or excuse me, 0.19. GDX down pretty significantly at 2%. Um, dollar is up 0.74. The dollar really caked it today, huh? Interesting. Yes, Mini had a crazy bounce there at the end. Ooh, big volume on a close. That should be okay for Monday. You know, luckily, uh, I think if that closed, as even Dan said, too, uh, like, if that closed, you know, lower today with no volume, that might have been a bad sign um, for Monday. Something interesting I didn't get to get, I didn't uh, get to on my show um, was some investigation on FINRA. So Congress is investigating FINRA's U3 halt, and that is on that metamaterial company, uh, Basically, long story short, they got halted because the company that they stemmed from was resulted, uh, excuse me, um, uh, engaged in pump and dump, it's assumed. Um, and so they halted it, but it turns out that FINRA knew that this company uh, was, was engaging in some level of fraud for like a year before they halted it, which is pretty nuts. Um, so it's under pressure as a new email transcripts emerge exposing the corruption in the stock market. FINRA currently has multiple lawsuits filed against them for security fraud in the state of Florida and California. Congress has made an official request to FINRA for the MMTLP blue sheets, and that is that meta materials company that was halted, and investors are getting the FBI involved. The new email transcripts prove that FINRA was aware of fraud in the security, and the regulator authority allowed it to trade for over a year. This new evidence destroys trust in FINRA, it said, and the SAC as they were talking with each other, uh, and they're not protecting investors and the companies. Let's see here. This was received through a FOIA act. This was released to the public uh, regarding FINRA's communication involving it. Basically, there are, I mean, even like high levels that were involved in directly looking at these kind of things were uh, they had emails being like, yeah, we know this is going on, but we're not doing anything on it. That's so strange. So strange. Maybe we'll talk a little bit more about it on Monday. Folks, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, I'll be with you again Monday and then Tom will be back Tuesday. Have a wonderful weekend. Have fun and stay safe. Sharpen